Some Halo Infinite leaked information tied to the XO20 event happening on November 9th, along with an excerpt from Shadows of Reach to give you guys some more awesome Halo content to take in. Voiced by Master Chief himself, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you our news and information when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's be know who wants to see some more content like this. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm so more people get a chance to see this video to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So yes, we have our first bit of leaked information about some pretty significant Halo Infinite news stuff, guys, coming around here. Now this was leaked on 4chan, so it's not the most credible site ever, but uh, this is definitely something you want to take note of, at least keep an eye on when it comes to the information coming up here pretty soon because there is going to be looking like an XO20 event, much like we had last year of XO19 happening in November over in London. Looks like we might have something similar, but it might kind of be like an in-person, also virtual kind of event happening right here, guys. So if you check this out on the screen right here, there's a tweet here that just kind of released it all out for you guys, letting you know that what's going on here, the XO20 event to celebrate everything together is kind of what the theme of the whole thing is. Kind of just goes over a lot of stuff about like what they're expecting to see for this event as a whole is this is kind of like the e3 for microsoft so this is a big event uh, last year we did get the halo reach announcement for the release date as well on pc so it wouldn't be unfamiliar to have a halo like news being revealed at this event uh definitely we'll be covering it on this channel as soon as that event does go live guys uh we'll scroll past all the other stuff because i know this is a halo channel you're here for the halo stuff but let's talk about it so halo infinite is going to be an updated version of gameplay from the July event with new scenes with a spring 2021 open multiplayer beta March slash April time frame for that as well. Now, could we get some kind of reveal of a date to come around along with this whole thing? I mean, potentially, I wouldn't hold it to you guys, but uh, I think right now, I don't, know, I don't even know if 343 fully understands what time they're gonna release this game. Uh, though, if we were gonna do like some a true beta for the multiplayer side of things when it comes to Halo Infinite, it would happen in the springtime because you need a good amount of time from the beta to release to actually update the game properly to stress test the, the servers, to test out new gameplay mechanics, new weapons, to see what needs to be tweaked before the reveal of the uh, release date and things like that. Obviously, how credible is this whole thing? Eh, uh, somewhat. <laughs> I mean, I've been seeing it around the internet from multiple sources as well, citing this place, this one uh, post from uh, 4chan, which we've had previous leaks before, which have been kind of like roughly true. So it, this doesn't exactly mean this is a hard, concrete evidence of what's happening, but this is generally like, Sometimes ideas of what's going to happen get leaked through and get put up on the 4chan. So we are expecting to hear some kind of Halo Infinite announcement, at least on the uh, November 9th XO20 event. Uh, so which would be like kind of lining up what we had last year for Halo Reach coming to PC. So I would totally expect this because, you know, we've been pretty much dead silent since the uh, 2020 announcement of the uh, delay of Halo Infinite. So we definitely will expect to see something new happening around for you guys, especially with the different announcements of the various esports teams joining in with Halo Infinite guys. So we had Cloud9, we had Sentinels, we also have Envious coming back. We have all the also other ones coming for sure, guys. Like we don't know for sure who else is signing up, but we have uh, projected rumors of what's going to be happening around along with the esports side thing. These teams would not be signing up if we didn't know that there was going to be a reveal coming up pretty soon for us, guys. Again, once this more information comes out, we will definitely be talking about it more on this channel guys so definitely look forward to that as well we'll be releasing videos as soon as we have some more confirmed information and anything else coming on with halo infinite with this leaked information these pro teams sign up for halo i just have a very strong suspicion that we will get some concrete actual halo information before the end of the year and i mentioned that in the previous video and then we have some leaked information coming out as well so this is definitely exciting to look forward to guys so another thing we have to look forward to in the halo sphere of awesomeness happening around we actually recently just got a little bit of a snippet of the shadows of reach book if you guys don't know this book is meant to be kind of like the connecting 
issue between uh, Halo 5 and Halo Infinite. And it's supposed to kind of set up some story arcs that will come into full fruition in the game as well. So this is going to be a very important thing. If you're really invested with the Halo story, you're going to want to know about this book. You're going to want to read it. And they actually just posted up a little bit of an excerpt right here on uh, Twitter and also on their YouTube channel as well. Uh, stating October 2559, the Master Chief and Blue Team are assigned to make a covert insertion into a ravaged planet reach for a top secret mission. There was a special excerpt, Shadows of Reach, voiced by Steve Downs, 117. Yes, all right, Master Chief's voice actor himself is voicing this book. You can pre order in these different locations. Uh, this sounds like it's, I listened to it already, it sounds like a bit of like an early part of the book, like when Chief first lands on the Reach and kind of like, sees everything for like the first time since he's left reach which was uh back in during the events of reach right if you guys remember from halo reach he was in that cryopod right when the pillar of autumn was leaving reach and uh, i thought i'd just play like a little quick little section of it guys so you can guys can give a good listen of it inserted on to dozens of glassed worlds during his 34 year combat career and he knew what to expect a blanket of silver-limbed clouds hanging over vast sweeps of heat-fused ground. So pretty cool stuff for you guys to just go check out. I will definitely will be getting this book on audio. We'll be listening through it all the way through. We'll definitely will be having some discussion points on this book as it does tie directly into Halo Infinite. So we will have some actual information coming for you guys on that. Now I'm sure you guys definitely remember the Monarch armor coating that we recently received here, guys. Uh, just a cool little bit of 3D render of what you know armor customization is going to look like in Halo Infinite. This is like it says, it's, this is a work in progress. But the only reason why this really got revealed is because we recently had some uh, candy toys and also uh, some snack reveals uh, recently with the Chips Ahoy kind of promotion right now, guys. You can see that obviously with Chips Ahoy, uh, you get a code inside there, you go to the Halo uh, website, you type in the code, you get this unlocked for you right here. You get two, um, two armor coatings with this. You get the Monarch coating and the granular one. We got the Monarch full render from 343 a few days ago, which I definitely have reported on, talked about it multiple times. Just kind of a lot of speculation, a lot of information actually from just that one image. I want to look into it. Uh, we also have another one, the granular which is another armor coating that will come with it. Now, we haven't had any full renders. It's been really blurry and stuff like that. Someone on Reddit actually went ahead and just straight up just recreated it. Boom, right there in Photoshop. Like, pretty cool stuff. And it's really great to see that you know, the community is trying to go f through forward and make this, which does look rather accurate. I mean, like, if you check it out right here, it's now it's a small image, but you can kind of tell that, like, yeah, it kind of looks like what the armor would look like. I mean, it's just a simple Photoshop job right there. Uh, we can also kind of blow this up into like uh, the big boy view right here if you guys want to check out a little better version of it. And as you can see right here, a little more better detail, as you can tell. Uh, this obviously just kind of a bit of a sloppy Photoshop job, but it kind of gets you the idea of what we can expect when it comes to uh, armor coatings, when it comes to Halo Infinite. Uh, again, I think that these level of details that you can see, like this one really showcases the level of detail, like you have the coloring here, a different color here, a different color underneath the, uh, the legs or around the arms. Like there's two different kinds of colorings for the under armor. Uh, the intricacies like right here, uh, around the chest piece and things like that. It's nothing we've ever had before in Halo. Again, check out the Monarch color coding for your armor as well. You can see the certain intricacies that I've pointed out in previous videos that like, if we had this level of detail in your customization for Halo that like, you could honestly spend just like hours making your Spartan exactly how you want it to look, which would be awesome for customization, but I think it would be kind of bad for, uh, well, microtransactions. It'd be kind of surprising to get that level for a player to select. I think we'll have like primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. But when it comes to these armor coatings, if you want something like a unique kind of uh, colorings to your armor, these will come out. Now, there's been rumored recently as well that these armor coatings are like worth like five bucks. And so that would be kind of a pricey part, point for just customization for your armor. Uh, but I think the way the microtransactions are going to work for customization in Halo Infinite is that you're not really meant to get everything because uh, they're just going to offer so much content in here that it would just blow your mind and you'd blow your wallet too if you're going to try to buy everything. 
interesting little tidbits of information, guys. Again, well, links to all the stuff will be in the description down below if while you're down there as well. Make sure to check me on Twitch as well. We stream every Tuesday and Thursday and on the weekends as well. We play some Halo, do some news searching. If you want, if you want questions or want to chat with me, that's the best place to go about doing it. Halo 4 flights coming out real soon, guys. We'll definitely be streaming it on there as well. So check out that link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.